Hi, um, hello. <laughs> Today I want to talk about the pros and cons of having a buzz cut. If you can tell, my buzz cut is a little bit grown out into like this sort of confused but still pretty cute pixie. I'm into it. I shaved my head for the first time in November. I want to say like I uploaded the video. <laughs> Let me take a cheeky guess. November 24th of 2018. 17. <laughs> How does the calendar work again? But yes, I shaved my head for the first time and then I just kept rebuzzing it because I just loved being the cute kiwi that I was. I have had many experiences regarding to my buzz cut and I thought I would talk about them and talk about pros and cons. What do you guys want to talk about first? Cons or pros? I feel like we should start with the cons and then go to the pros just so that it ends on a positive note because I'm all about positivity and positive affirmation and being kind to yourself. So yeah, let's start with cons. So then we can end with a positive note. So cons, um, if you're not already familiar with people maybe misgendering you or maybe asking if you are a boy and maybe not knowing, then that might be something that's new to you if you haven't had a stereotypical masculine haircut before. I know this is my first time having a stereotypical masculine haircut before and um, it happened to me quite a bit. <laughs> when I would go to the bathroom, sometimes people would kind of sit and watch to see which one I'm in. I don't know what's going through their head. Maybe they're like, ooh, does this person have a flippity doo da or a hoo-ha? I don't know! <laughs> and sometimes people would just kind of like look at me and just kind of like really look at me, you know what I mean? They're just like looking and then they're just kind of like... <laughs> like they'll like look. I don't think they know that it shows on their face, but a lot of times it does and I just know exactly what's going through their head and I'm just like, okay, I, I really hope that you're having a great conversation with yourself inside your head because I'm just sitting here just looking at the aftermath of your face. Have you decided yet? <laughs> Okay, cool. Usually all that goes away after I start speaking though, so yeah, be prepared for that because sometimes that happens. Not all the time, but sometimes. I wouldn't even say that that's a con though. I feel like some people would think people getting confused by your gender or whatever is a con, but I think it's a plus, personally. <laughs> I kind of like that I'm a gay enigma, if you would. Ooh, what is it? <laughs> like, surprise! We don't know! Like, <laughs> I think that's a pro, but I think some people might think that that's a con. Another thing that I find people list as a con as to shaving their heads is they feel the need to kind of overcompensate some femininity. So I've seen girls who shave their heads say that they wear makeup a lot more often now or like they can't leave the house with like a winged liner because they feel like that they just look like a boy if they don't. I haven't really experienced this. That might apply to you and that might not, but I thought I would, I thought I would list it. Another thing is when shaving your head if you want to grow it out it's going to be a huge pain it's it, it is going to be a terribly painful process what it's gonna do is like it's gonna grow and grow and then it's gonna like stick out and it's gonna be kind of weird and like in the back here with the part it's gonna like be all in different directions and you might want to have some like hair paste on standby because you might get some a flippity doo -dahs. and I have been using that word for many different things and I think I should stick to one. Another con is you can't do anything with your hair. I think that would be pretty obvious, but if you are the kind of person that loves to have hair accessories and you love like hair ties and little hair bows and braids and all that kind of stuff, I know this seems really obvious, but you, you cannot uh, accessorize a buzz cut. It just now pros, ooh, I could go on forever. The biggest pro is for me, while shaving my head, was like the big realization of, oh my goodness, beauty standards are fake. <laughs> They're fake news. <laughs> They're just like completely socially constructed to make, it's just there to make you feel bad and to capitalize on you and so that they can make money off of you. Awesome. They are fake. They're done. They're they're canceled. Beauty standards are canceled. Um, but even though I kind of knew this beforehand, it was just like the action. I knew like, oh, beauty standards, like screw them. I'm an individual. <laughs> but then like 
shaving my head was like putting that into action and was all like, I don't need hair to be feminine or beautiful. I am beautiful on my own. A <laughs> shavey shave. <laughs> and it was so good. Another big positive thing was like, my life was about me again. Like I kept worrying and doing things for other people and not doing things for myself and just being all like, oh, well, if I did this, I have limited opportunities, huh? And so then I like went with it and I was like, I actually really want to do this and I want to shave my head and I want to do this for me. And I did it. And like my life was like about me again. I'm doing things for myself and I don't care what other people think. And it was a very liberating experience. Everybody probably had said this, but it's such a liberating experience and it's such a good feeling. And I just cannot recommend it enough. It's so good. Another pro besides the confidence, maintenance. You do not have to brush your hair. You don't even have to necessarily wash your hair. <laughs> you don't have to style it in the morning. You don't have to like sit there and be like, oh no, my hair fell flat. Like I tried curling it for four hours and now it looks like poop. You don't have to deal with that. You don't have to deal with hair being in your face or getting in your lip gloss or anything. You can spend that time doing other things. Like, I don't know sleeping an extra 30 minutes in the morning or like, I don't know, doing other things or like seeing and not having hair in your eyes. It's like really, really good and low maintenance and I love it. When my hair was in a buzz, I could wake up and like go. I didn't have to like pack dry shampoo with me because my hair gets oily. Like if my hair was oily, you couldn't tell because it was way too short to like look different. That's another pro, there's so many. I wish I had a list, but the last time that I uh, made an outline and scripted a video, I had tons of negative feedback. So we're not gonna do that again. No, I'm kidding, but um, well, I'm not, but <laughs> anyway. Whenever you come across another cutie with a shaved head, there's like this immediate bond and you're just like, Hey, it's like, it's like you get it. Like you, you're buds now, like you know. Another pro of shaving your head is restarting your hair growth. Your hair is gonna grow so much more healthy. It's just like a whole reset of your scalp. <laughs> I would say thick, but maybe not. I would say shiny, but maybe not for all individuals. But it's just, it's a lot, it just grows a lot healthier and it just kind of resets that whole thing. So if you wanted to regrow it out, I think shaving it all off is great. Shave it off, <laughs> why not? <laughs> I think that's kind of all the pros and cons that I can think of right now. Um, but all I can say is I think the pros greatly outweigh the cons. To those who want to have that experience in your life or even like think about it, you have to do it. You just have to do it because it's unlike anything else. It's so liberating and you just walk around and you're just like, on top of the world, you're just all like, yeah, I'm a baldy. I don't want you to worry like, am I gonna be attractive? Because heck yes you are, you're beautiful. No matter what you look like, you're gorgeous <laughs> because of who you are and your sparkling personality. Please don't worry like, oh, are men gonna be attractive to me? Well, only the right kinds <laughs> uh, because <laughs> Anybody who's like literally only attractive you because of you performing traditional femininity is not there for the right reasons, okay? People are gonna wanna be around you because of who you are, not because of how you look. And I think that if you ever just like imagine like, hmm, maybe I should shave my head one day, you just really, really should. <laughs> like I, I have never met anybody that regretted that decision. It obviously made me really happy. Um, so maybe it'll make you really happy too. I don't know. I hope you have a lovely day and I hope that you keep smiling and <laughs> bye. <laughs> okay, bye. Ooh, -hoo. who is she? <laughs> Ooh, -hoo. We, we love a stringy sister.